न्यूट्रिशन इन ह्यूमन बींग्स फूड एंटर्स अवर बॉडी थ्रू माउथ अवर डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम बिगिन्स विथ माउथ एंड एंड्स विथ एनस डिफरेंट पार्ट ऑफ द डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम आर अरेन्ज लाइक ए लॉन्ग कॉइल ट्यूब दिस ट्यूब इज कॉल्ड एलिमेंटरी कैनॉल द फूड इन साइड द माउथ इज मेड इन टू अ पेस्ट बाई द एक्शन ऑफ टीथ एंड सलाइवा सलाइवा इज अ फ्लूड दैट मेक्स द फूड सॉफ्ट एंड वेट saliva has an enzyme called as salivary amylase it digests the starch partially the food is well chewed in the mouth and it passes down into the stomach through esophagus the rhythmic contractions of the esophagus helps the downward movement of the food these rhythmic contractions are called peristaltic movements this is stomach it is a hollow muscular organ Gastric glands present in the walls of the stomach. They produce gastric juice. The gastric juice has different compounds in it. They help the stomach in the process of digestion. Let us see different components of this gastric juice. Gastric juice has pepsin, hydrochloric acid and mucus in it. Pepsin is a protein digesting enzyme. The medium of the stomach should be acidic for the proper action of the pepsin. So the medium of the stomach is made acidic by hydrochloric acid hcl is a strong acid it can cause damage to the stomach walls a thick layer of mucus protects the walls of the stomach from the action of hcl at the end of the stomach there is a muscular sphincter called as pyloric sphincter this sphincter releases the partly digested food slowly into the small intestine Small intestine is the longest part of the alimentary canal. It is highly coiled to fit in less space. Pancreas secretes pancreatic juice, intestinal gland secrete intestinal juice and liver secretes bile juice into the small intestine. Pancreatic juice and intestinal juice have enzymes like trypsin, lipase, pancreatic amylase, peptidases and nucleases. These enzymes help in the digestion of carbohydrates, fats and proteins. The bile juice that comes from liver does two important jobs. One, emulsification of fats means converting the bigger fat droplets into smaller fat droplets. By doing this, the surface area of the fat droplets increases. Due to increased surface area, enzymes can digest these fat droplets more efficiently. The second job of bile is to make the intestinal pH alkaline. In the small intestine, alkaline medium is required for the digestion of carbohydrates. The digestion of the food gets completed in the small intestine. In the complete process of digestion, carbohydrates are converted to sugars, proteins are converted to amino acids, fats are converted to fatty acids and glycerol. The nutrients that are formed in the digestion reaches the cells through the blood circulatory system but how do these nutrients enter the blood circulatory system absorption of nutrients small intestine has numerous finger like projections on its inner surface these finger like projections are called villi blood vessels and lymph vessels are present inside these villi nutrients get absorbed into these vessels and enters the blood stream undigested food enters into the large intestine the water present in this undigested food is absorbed into the blood remaining undigested waste is excreted out through anus